Lucha. Babalu Sobro, he's seen it all tonight. He's been through it. Can he do it one more time? We thought this could happen between Horn and Babalu, and let's see it. Babalu, I tell battered, you, bruised. He's ready to win this whole thing. I tell you what, Ryan, you said it yourself. Very, very rarely do you see the number one and number two men end up in the finals of an eight-man tournament. We are witnessing something that very rarely happens here. All right, good luck at Babalu. Getting last-minute instruction. Remember, folks, during the national anthem, they did a quick cutaway of one Chuck Liddell. He will give up his belt tonight to one of these true warriors. Liddell, of course, having to fight in a couple other promotions. So his title went vacant tonight. He will present it to either Babalu Sobral or Jeremy Horn. Good look at Babalu, and they're going to bring down his opponent. Look at Jeremy Horn just sitting up there waiting. What they'll Spotlight do for the main event, they'll actually bring Jeremy Horn out first so they can introduce both guys in the final of this fight. This is it, boys and girls. This is it. This is what we've been waiting all night for. This is the finals of the eight-man. IFC, light heavyweight champion of the world, Jeremy Horn, Babalu. It don't get better than this, baby. Here he comes. You know, I've seen a lot of fights of Jeremy Horn. I don't think I've ever seen a more complete performance than what he's given tonight. Jeremy Horn has been in a lot of fights, but I think this one is probably the best one I've ever seen. I mean, he's put it together tonight he's in the biggest tournament. He's got a submission and a knockout. He's done both back. Unbelievable. That is a kick. Kick <laughs> knockout. <laughs> He was Jeremy your... Horn. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just had to say, Jeremy Horn needs to stay out of the mountains if I was a tool. You know what I mean? That's like a fight. He's got that new training. Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce our finalists in our light heavyweight tournament, I'd like to thank the Colorado State Boxing Commission and our commissioners in attendance, William Artist, Ralph Dabney, Daniel Miraflor, Norman Sherbert, and the director, Joseph Mason. You've done a great job with us tonight. Thank you very much for having us. <laughs> Introducing first into the IFC cage. He's trained in wrestling and luta libre. He is a star member of the Ruas Vale Tudo team. Six feet, one inches tall, 204 pounds. Welcome back to the final from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Renato Babalu Zobra. And introducing his opponent on my right. He's trained in jiu-jitsu and a specialist in Muay Thai, a member of Team Extreme, 6-1, 204 ready to go pounds. Welcome back from Davenport, Iowa, Jeremy Hall. Tonight, one man will be champion. The other one has nothing to hang their head about because we've seen these two fighters. They are the best tonight. They are ready to go in this championship fight. They were the. The guys trained the hardest, to, from what I understand. I mean, both these guys were out here plenty early. The conditioning has come through. Tonight, one of these guys, Babalu Sobral or Jeremy Horn for the IFC World Look Light Heavyweight Championship. Look at this, Babalu banging Babalu. away right off the bat. Horn slipping. Wow. Look at the strength Almost of Babalu. falling in the guillotine. Look, Look at, at the strength Horn. of Babalu. Babalu doing a good job of just putting the pressure on that head, weighing him down, making him, making him wet. Beautiful. And he's shooting a great double leg. You know what I like about the way Babalu's come out? You know, before he's, he's kind of taking his time, this is it. He knows this is the yeah. third fight. I need to get after it. He could run into some trouble, though, this. because of the way a Jeremy Horn Look at this. Triangle right now. He doesn't oh. have it locked up the way it should be, but that's because Jeremy likes, Jeremy likes to lock this up and strike from here. He's a freak, Chance. He's oh, a freak. One of those things, watch him. He'll start raining forearms to the head. 
They just now want he's going to start trying to just champ. want him for his pimp juice. See, he starts striking. And then he'll try to lock it on again, man. He's just so good, man. Horn is patient. So you know, good. That's the thing. It's patience. It takes time to set things up. That's it. And, and that's the thing. A lot of younger look fighters. At look, he's, he's cranking it tight now. A lot of younger fighters. Oh, oh, my. Bob in some big trouble, folks. Oh, come on. Bob is in some trouble. Younger fighters, they'll Got go for it. Bit. They'll let go of it because they don't have it. Yeah. Jeremy Horn, what does he do? He goes for it, doesn't get it, sets it up again, goes for some punches, continues to set up the move. But he won't, he won't give it up. He'll just continue to work for it. I tell you what, Jeremy Horn is a guy who will actually go to a lousy position just to go for something else, just to set something else up. Look now at he's got it. Now he's got it. Oh, oh Bob is in big mercy. trouble. Bob is in mercy. trouble. Bob is in Look trouble. Look at this. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. Good God, back door. Oh, oh my back God. Back door. How much heart does that guy have? I mean, you know, we don't need to say That's a big it. heart for Bob. I mean, it's amazing. He's yeah. got days two pumps above days. his eyes. You know, he's been in two unbelievable oh, wars. Man. He feels the squeeze, and he still he gets out in the best backdoor way I've seen so far. Jeez, I mean, that man. was unreal, man. Bob Blue. That I was mean, unreal. We know he showed a lot of heart. He just continues to do it. I mean, both these guys, like I said, you hate to see a loser tonight because both these guys have put it on the line. They fought the best. They are the final two guys still standing in the steel cage. One will be Look at that oh, from Baba Lou. Went for the leg, got the reversal. How about that? Got Jeremy pinned up against oh, the cage Bob now. Oh, landed. He's going for wow. it. Wow. You got to watch. See, Jeremy keeps that knee loaded right there underneath that left arm Baba Lou because that's the one that he'll shoot straight up the middle and get that same triangle choke. Right, right. Look at Baba Lou, though, using, using the cage. Yeah, and advantage. he's doing a good job. He's opening up Beautiful his elbows. Beautiful elbow. Look at those elbows. Just grazing Jeremy Horn. <laughs> And remember, Taking a page out of Horn's book. It can't, right. be, it can't be the point of the elbow, but those were all legal. Bob Lou just came across, struck him with, the, I guess, the forearm to, towards the elbow. All legal. Yeah, it, it, the thing is, you can't bring it straight down. You can't spike your elbow. He's arching it. When you arch that elbow, you're not actually driving in the elbow. You're driving in the forearm. So the illegal in the IFC and other sanctioning bodies, you Good cannot shot. spike that elbow. You cannot bring it in a straight line down from your head. It's got to be an arcing motion. And right now, Babalu is arcing up Jeremy's face. And he's in good position because Horn can't stretch out right now. No, his shoulders no. are against the cage. So Babalu working working the cage to his advantage. No, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? He does. He's got a good job. Horn's still keeping the feet and the hips. He's locking it up now. But, you know what I mean? He's still working. He's trying to push away, trying to get the thing set up. Um, I think when he can, he'll start to feed that knee through one of his arms, there you know, something like that. But, you know, both of them are still working. It's short and small, because right now you don't want to give up anything big. Jeremy can be looking for that right now. He can be Look at this. Babalu's stacking up high. Gotta watch the triangle chokes and things like that. But again, Babalu's doing a great job of scoring the points, because right now, folks, he's stealing the round. Yes, he is. There's a minute left, and he is stealing the round. He's scoring the points, and he's winning this round. Guys, they're interesting. You know, last week I had the opportunity to be with these two gentlemen right here on the Best Damn Sports Show. We were talking about this fight, and I was joking. I'm like, you two guys could be fighting yeah, for this championship. I thought that when yeah. I seen it you on know? TV, yeah. And I, I'm like, here we are a week later, and guess who the two guys are? The two guys we thought could be there, they are here tonight. Now, yeah. did not, uh, was that not a double leg that they uh, displayed in exactly. the Best Damn Sports Show exactly. that Bob just took it down? They, they did some moves together, yeah. and now we're seeing those same moves tonight. I mean, so uh, ironic. A little more ferocity behind how, this how, how ironic art. It really is. It really is. Both guys have such a great respect for each other. They were joking around, having a good time. They're like, yeah, we might get after it. And tonight, they are doing it. Well, that's, you know, that's the good thing about this sport. And that's the one thing I love about this sport. That's the 15 minutes in that ring. That's when you're, yeah. that's when you're trying to hurt each other. That's called competition. You yeah. best of friends. You don't even have to be the best friends, but you have the best of respect Absolutely. for each other. And you know what? Bob Lou made a phone call tomorrow. Jeremy's my teammate. Bob Lou needed our help. We'd come running. We'd yeah, be right there to do it. And guys, that's what's so great about the sport. So many people just don't understand it. They no. call it brutal. They call it whatever. These two guys were hanging out. They have a great respect for each other. And they show it tonight, and tonight they're laying it all on the line. Let's show you. Now, look at, look at Jeremy Horn. We're finally starting to see some welts on this guy's face. Yeah, I mean, he's... Jeremy, you know, and this was the thing here. He was working that triangle choke, taking his time. He finally got down on the hip, got the knee across it where he needed it. Bob Lou started to realize, uh-oh, this is tighter than I thought. I mean, they yeah, had this for a couple minutes. Right Jeremy's there. going to sit up, and that's when the striking could have happened. For, but Bob Lou shoots right out the back. Wow. An amazing escape. 
We've seen, Beautiful. you know, Bob Lou on the ground tonight has shown us a lot of different looks. I mean, he's he's been so sneaky. Let's show you the flurry at the end of this. Uh, this is what first I round. think Bob Lou is doing. I mean, this is kind of this is where the last two minutes of this fight ended. Bob Lou on top, little short elbows, and trying to flurry, throwing the big punches and scoring. And I think you know he might have stole that round. How do you yeah. score the round, guys? How do you score? I, uh, I, I honestly got like Jen said. I believe I I gotta go with Bob Lou in that end. Two takedowns. I mean, you, you give it. You give that. You, Jeremy went to end the fight with the submission. Oh, but, you good know, left. Good left hand by Babalu. And we know I think what Jeremy, Jeremy just though. said, nice job. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I mean, these guys good both counter strike. Slip. Good counter Beautiful slip. Beautiful double, double leg by Jeremy. Nice. Great takedown. Beautiful great takedown. double leg by Jeremy. Two great fighters, two technical fighters. Who has more energy? Second round. Babalu's put in a lot more rounds tonight. asking that as Babalu is just in. <laughs> See, he's doing this. He's going after that okay, leg again. Look at that. But it gets him the reversal twice now. He's done Beautiful. that with success and getting on top. Beautiful. You know what's amazing about Babalu right now? Just the energy he has. I mean, yeah. you would have never guessed. Tons. I mean, Tons for days. Honestly, we wondered. We wondered what he would be like in this third fight. I mean, we saw his face. Oh. It was it was out to here. I mean, it was. He looks like Frankenstein with that forehead. And, and, and look at no him. bumps above the eyes, and he's still aggressive. Okay. Okay. Come out. And he's in Colorado. He come yeah. out too. Unbelievable. Much. You know, it, it goes. To, I mean, one thing, big heart. And again, you look at him. This is in his third fight. He's tired, but you know what? He conditioned himself. Conditioned yep. himself. You got to look at these Tungo Warriors. Period. Because yeah. they oh, took the top this. Babalu, Babalu, banging, rights, banging hard. Jeremy going for the armbar. Can't get it. Boy. I just cannot believe, I can't say that wow. off. The energy of Babalu is simply incredible. Beautiful right now. left elbow by Babalu. And the. I'm sorry, but this just hit me. Is this? It's three Bob Lou, 205. No, at 205 was Chuck his first fight, and this is his second time fighting at 205. Yeah. This is his second time down. I was just wondering that. Was he, he was fighting at heavyweight for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, he did get a win over overseas, I believe, in in London, if, if I remember correctly. He, he did. Actually, could have been Brazil for that matter. I know he did get a win in between. But you're right. I mean, you mentioned this it. is a former heavyweight exactly. who has moved down to 205 in the recent yeah. year he and taken. He beat yeah, Elvis Sinisak as well in the UFC, which yep. uh, at that time was what I believe the 205. That's true. Babalu Sobral, Jeremy Horn. And right now, you know, Horn just needs to get off the cage. Yeah, yeah. Horn's, Horn's getting a little too complacent. He's getting old. He's looking for that one. I'm going to end the fight with submission, but the truth is he's just got to go back out there and start getting dirty. Little elbows here, little punches here, and just start taking back some control in this fight. Boy, both guys. Good what elbow. Say good elbow attempt there. He's trying to slice him across because he knows Babalu does have cuts on those eyes. They've done yeah. a good job closing him up, Beautiful but he does job. have cuts. Jeremy needs Beautiful to start slicing job. those elbows across that face. And, and right now, it's actually the opposite way. Babalu's the one trying to slice up Jeremy. Babalu's doing a good job of ground and pound right now. I'd like to see Jeremy. Look at that. Look at that. Look Oh, man. Just missed it. So quick. And Babalu's just enough missed of that. It. Pay for it with five. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He landed it for a split second, and Bob Lou got free, and he says, you know what, you will pay for it with some left and rights. Great, great fight. It was midway through the second round. I tell Three you, rounds. I'll tell you what, Jens, you, you, you look at, I mean, of course, Jeremy, of course, brother to the end. But now look at his face. Bob Lou is dropping elbows that most people would already be bleeding profusely yep. on the ground. And Jeremy's got a, he's got a little red mark. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, but the thing I like that Bob Lou's doing the best is he's using that wrestling that he has. Yeah. He gets yeah. real heavy when Jeremy tries to elevate. I mean, Jeremy's got the feet in there. He's looking for those elevations. Those Absolutely. Bob Lou's doing a good job of getting heavy, coming up, sitting back. I mean, he's doing a good job of changing his weight around on Jeremy and just Beautiful. keeping him pinned down there. Yeah. And Look one thing that. I also body, like about body head, Babalu. Just when you think that they might stand it up, Babalu lands some rights and lefts. He's right. doing and just, I just enough. I was just about to say, you know, he's doing enough to keep this thing on the ground. Yeah, and we're exactly. already, we Look got a minute Look left in the Jeremy. fight. Oh, right oh, in, just missed, oh. just missed. He can still turn this. Just grazed off Jeremy Hort, so close. Just missed, Bablu tried that right straight, just barely missed it. About 45 seconds left in the second round. Great, great fight, man. I tell you what, both these guys, yeah, I mean, this I, is I can't unreal. imagine this fighting three fights. I can't imagine it. Three fights in one night. Anybody see the elbow Jeremy just slipped in there? That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. You know, but Babalu again doing a good job. Oh, oh, oh he's getting out of there. Oh, look at that! Uh-oh. 
Look at this. 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 And look what at Horn. Look at your Horn. Tell what him how fight. awesome it is. What a fight. Dear God, what's going on here? Is it, wait, 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 wait. That's the end of the round? Yes. That's the end of the round? I thought That's he had it in the triangle. No, it's the end of the round. Jeez, I it's thought that was the end of the, the, the fight, boys. It's the end wow. of the round. Jeremy I'm, I'm getting ready to call the champ, but it's the end of the round. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy the same thing. Because I'm looking at the what? monitor, and I'm seeing four extra seconds, and they break it, and I can't hear the bell. And Jeremy's high five, and I'm like, oh, he had this well, back to us, and I'm yeah. thinking, bam, unbelievable. Look, Look at this. this. Now, Jeremy Horn finished his first fight with Bob just a Lou's couple seconds left. Bob Lou's right eye is Look closed at it. now, guys. Now, take us through the end of this. I mean, Jeremy basically, this is Bob Lou. He gets the touch up. Bob Lou's going to come back with that punch right here, and boom, Jeremy's going to line up. He's Look sits it. He was waiting oh, for it. Man. And he's got it tight this time. Bang. He's got his hand up there for extra support. But Bob Lou, Bob Lou, give him trying credit. To break away. He can't breathe right now, and he's fighting it. He's fighting Jeremy's backhand, and he's trying to end it. That's what he's waiting for. Look at that. Air, now, man. a I'm question I have you. for both of you is, did he steal the round with that 10-second submission attempt hey, after you know three and a half minutes of being pounded? Remember, you know the judges always remember the last few but seconds hey, of the fight. Look at the eye, not to interrupt. Oh, the, man. the eye is closed. Oh, man, that's, that's bad. Cut me, Rock. Oh, <laughs> man. Cut me, Mick. Cut me, Mick. 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 It, it worked for him the last fight. How about Babalu striking? Look at Horn oh, smiling man. at Babalu Horn after that fresh. kick. Babalu with the great sprawl, but he's coming back. You know, I, he oh, loves. That, that, eye, that eye is completely closed. This is it, boys and girls. Last round of the night. This is it. You ain't going to see no more fighting. He's doing no a good job of scooting out right here. Babalu, and he uses his hips well. Jeremy did a great job of following him. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man, I tell you what. He's got it. the camera. This is it, right? Last round. Go to me. He's trying to transition. Oh my lord! You know, it's been a long time I've, since I've seen Babalu try to flow like this. Yep. I mean, yep. but let me ask you this: Think back from the beginning of the tournament. Yeah. What that kid's gone through, oh, and God. look at how hard he is in the and third like, yeah. round. Third round. Last round of the night. Man, and he's look at that taking eye. it to Jeremy. I, I tell you what, this is a neck and neck nine fight. Let me tell you rounds, something. Chance. This is this fight. It's coming down to this round. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Whoever the money's on the line, the belt's on the line. You know what I like about this, though? I mean, there is some swing There's a nice eye, elbow by Horn. But you just got to let this go. I mean, you, yeah. you can't stop it because the eye, you just got to let it go. I mean, they, these guys have battled too hard tonight. To Bob Lou would look it. at you crazy if you told him exactly. to fight because of that eye. <laughs> After all he just went through, you better talking give him a little, about it, you know? Man. What you talking about, Willis? Don't do it. <laughs> crazy. This is, this is the eighth. Round for Bob Lou. Eight and a half, folks. Yeah. Eight this and a it. half rounds. It's going to be number nine when it's over. Man. IFC, gentlemen. What else? Because this is it. World Light Heavyweight Championship Final. We thought it could happen between these two, and these two are not disappointing. Just putting on an amazing show tonight. Look at Bob Lou trying to, trying to hip up. Trying to hip up Jeremy. Now, you know, and guys, this could be interesting. Gents, you hit it on the head. How are the judges scoring this fight? I mean, think about it. You mentioned it. I mean, Babalu was probably winning that round, but we saw that triangle so tight. Do you give it to Horn? I mean, think about it. They might have yeah. scored that first round to Babalu, and that second round, how did they score it? Well, the thing is, you know, and it just depends what, what was more embedded in the judge's mind. Did they see a failed submission attempt because the round ended? Did they see an almost submission attempt? You know what I mean? Or did they still yeah. stuck on that three and a half minutes that he was on top pounding on? On horn, horn, you horn. know, I mean, did they already make up their mind? But you know, the truth is, this round is going to do it, and Jeremy knows it. That's why he's yeah. staying on top. Yep. That's yeah. why he got the takedown. He ain't giving that position up. He's going to ride this one out on top. Man, yeah. he's going to—he's going uh, to impose as well. And there, there he is, right there, doing just that. Now, Bob doing for a joke. just that. Want to get the try? Oh, oh, it's a oh, big man, right hand by right horn. horn. Good right hand. Big Jeremy right hand by horn. Look at this. I mean, Bob Lou's getting all he has right now. If Horn can pull his left leg free, he's going to be in the side now, and he's going to be ungodly dangerous. The heart of both these fighters, I'm telling you right now, to go through what they've gone through in the tournament. There it is. It's amazing. Bob Lou just continues to work, man. I mean, he is battered. He is bruised. Oh, my Lord. That, that, 
That eye, listen, that eye's bigger than my freaking no, fist. Yeah, thing, and he's still Look fighting. Oh, 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 knee! What a knee! On the ground, oh, that was a foul. That Jeremy, was a foul. Jeremy, that was a knee. Be on the ground. Oh, mercy. That was a foul. Big knee to Babalu. The referee doesn't know what he's seen. Jeremy said he's sorry. He because thought he Babalu, was on you know his feet. I'm going to tell he you why. He thought he was up. That was a foul. Look at the eye, Look at the eye grow. Yep, that, that is. I mean, that eye is just, oh, my goodness. It is growing by the second, guys. I that's mean, unreal. Jeremy knows what, right now Jeremy. if Babalu doesn't oh, want to continue, man. that's money out of his pocket yep. because he made a simple oh, mistake. Man. Yeah. And look at Jeremy. He's, oh, look at that eye. My gosh, guys. I mean, that thing is growing. That's unreal, man. Let's look at it. I mean, it was one of those things he just, he was in the flow. It's it clear, you know, he's, on, he's got one knee up, but he drops yeah, down, right you know. There. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Was Here, I got, I got I judges ain't. ringside. I got commissioners ringside telling me his just hand was in the air. Hey, let, let's see. Let's see, though. Let's look. Let's look one more. Like, I, I don't now, know if we'll be able to see the up. That's what we're looking at here. I don't know, though. I don't know. I, I, I think, I think one was down. Let's, it's hard to say. I want to see it again, maybe from that wide yeah, angle, let's, fellas. Let's, I don't know if you can roll from that wide angle. Can we do angle. that? Can we look at that replay again? Let, let's look at it again. Now, is his knee up or not? Let's check, take a peek here. One's up. They're both up there. Right there. But here the goes hand. down. Uh, oh, man. No, nope, they're both up. No foul. It's not a foul because I'm going to tell you why. His leg was singing, he's swinging, and it's almost like this. You're allowed to throw knees when a guy's swinging for a takedown, and he's almost... His knee is... Both knees are still up when yeah. he ate that. In it's that close, transition, yeah. it is close, but... When a guy shoots on both knees and you're throwing a knee and you're catching him in the middle of that transition, yeah. that has been allowed in the past. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. what I'm Here's the thing, about. guys. We have the benefit of the replay. Josh Rosenthal does not. No. I mean, this thing's going 100 well, I'm miles gonna an tell hour. You, I'm going to tell you this. Josh Rosenthal did not stop it for an inadvertent illegal Josh knee. Rosenthal Jeremy horned it. it. Because Jeremy said, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So now they're going to talk. But yeah. this is the thing. Once Look again, at, let's, let's see they that do replay. not have a replay. Can we see that replay? Josh Rosenthal does not have a replay. replay. Right now, let me tell you what's going on, guys. The commissioner, Jeff Bladnick, is watching, is going to watch the replay we're going to show to you right now. So Paul Smith and Jeff Bladnick are at our broadcast booth. I don't know if I've ever seen a replay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's, no, no. Wrong Give one. us the wide Wrong angle. One. Okay, we the guys the want the, the, the wide angle if we could. We need the wide angle on this. Here it is. We're going to show. I mean, it was close. They'll get it for you. Here it comes. Here, here we comes, go. Guys. Here it comes right here. Now, it was both very knees close. were in the air. Now, as he's swinging. There's a lot of tug. I mean, we got referees here. We got yeah. Jeff Blatnick. We got yeah. Paul Smith. Got I mean, we got the entire crew right the here. They are talking about it. We got it. the owner. We got, we got everybody here. Everyone's trying to make a decision right now. Everybody here. I've look never at, seen instant replay in MMA, man. I'm telling you. Never seen and look, it before. And I tell you what, nobody's more upset. Nobody's more upset than Jeremy Horn. Nobody's more upset than Jeremy Horn. Now I don't know if, if Jeff Blatnick wants to talk about it. Let's Jeff. Let's bring the commissioner. Jeff, what's going on? After reviewing the film, it's clear that the knee came off the ground. He was on two feet, but his hands down. So that's a three-point stance. That's a grounded fighter. Okay. Right. Very good call. That makes good it that call. much easier. Good call. That's why we love having Jeff Bladnick right here, man. He can tell, tell us what, exactly what's going on. Is. He is the absolute best there is. But, you know, there's a point I want to make to all that. If Jeremy wouldn't have sat back and said sorry, he could have kept punching. Sure. Bob Lou would have had yeah. to defend himself, kept fighting, because the referee missed it. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're you know, right. let him go it's back and look angle. at this. If he had jumped up, that's I mean, twice now. The referee should have jumped this. in and said look, foul. Look, 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 look. And, Jeff, there it is. You mentioned the hand. Yeah. The hand was down the whole time. The hand was down the whole time. I mean, and, and, you know, no offense to Josh. I mean, he was in a tough angle. Oh, no, absolutely. But it, I mean, it just absolutely. helps solidify yeah. the question. If you jump up and you see a foul, you can't, like I said, two minutes later, you cannot go, oh, foul. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, because we've already thing. known you've been, you've been sure. persuaded. You've already had a opinion. Sure. Let me ask you this, though. This is what I respect about Jeremy. Jeremy is a true sportsman. Yeah, he didn't absolutely. have to say anything. He could have kept going. Oh, yeah, Jeremy right. That's Horn what I was is, saying. is a classy guy. He said, you know what? You're the right. Best. You're right. He is I fouled you, and best. I apologize. Here we go right Here back go. at it. Here we go right they back at gloves. it. Jeremy Horn says once again he's sorry. And, and just great, great sportsmanship. And so, look at Bob Alou saying, you know what? I don't care. Let's roll. <laughs> oh, man. These guys show it so Jeremy's much. Jeremy's not going to let him take him down. Remember, it was man. Jeremy that did the takedown last look time. Bob Alou lands a straight kick. I tell you what. He cannot see out of that. He gets the takedown. What a fight. I'm telling you, what a fight we're seeing tonight. Now, me personally, I'm unclear. Was a point taken away? I don't know. I do not know. Kamish, do we got the word? Was, yeah, there, was a there a point, point taken, taken away? away? No. 
I don't know whether or not he issued a foul. I saw okay. nothing here where he walked to the judges, but yeah, it's no. the scorekeeper, the okay. scorekeeper at the head table that will determine uh, the cards are collected. He's the one that takes the point off. The score. I mean, just. I was just kind of curious about that. I'd like to see yeah. the ref say one point. Right. One point. If they don't do that, well, then that's one little chunk of boxing I still like. But one point. Yeah. Everybody knows. The worst thing about this, I'm so glad I'm not an official or a judge right now. I would not want to judge this fight, man. I'm telling you. I really don't. Well, Look at this, too. But this is the end of the third round, guys. We're, we're winding down the last few seconds. The, the, guys, the, the, one thing, hey, the one thing that knee did do, whether My it took God. a point away or the end of the fight, it gave Babalu that energy yeah. back. Yes, yeah. it to did. To get that takedown. Yes, it did. And to sit there and bang, 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 bang is, away. Look at him. He's, he's, he's going working hard. He knows this is his fight. He just needs to awesome. finish it. Awesome fight. You know, credit to Babalu. It is, it is, it is, it is. I'm gonna stay boys. I'm it's you over. What, this was an absolute pleasure to watch. Folks, Watching two listen. men fight three fights and fight like that to finish the fight. They have nothing left. Those of you at home should be standing and clapping right now. I tell you what, this was one of the most insane fights. The most hardcore tournament. I mean, just, just incredible. This night, this night is unreal. Let's this show you the, the final is replays, unreal. guys. We can tell you this. Jeff Blackney just told me there this was no point. Me. This is the front kick. This is going to be, you know, Babalu. He wanted that takedown because he knew Jeremy had just spent the first half that round taking him down and pound on him. Babalu needed to get that takedown as almost a neutralizer. So now, after all that said and done. He's going up to three of He's just trying to score the points, show the ref. He's in control, trying to steal the round. Now, what I'm trying to wonder, did, did I hear no points taken away? No points. Ladies That's what no I points. understand. This is a straight-up fight. Yeah. I mean, this is a straight-up decision here. <laughs> Man, uh, now you got to go back to first and second rounds again exactly. because the third exactly. had to be even. Yeah. No submission attempts, don't yeah. I don't know what, uh, you know, know what you said. It, it's, it, we can score it one way, but we don't want to have the official scorecard. I mean, I, I hate to see either guy lose. I mean, I almost... <laughs> I mean, can, can he call him a draw? Can, can you give a championship belt as a draw? I don't know. I'll tell know. you what. I'll tell you what. I'll say this right now. There is not a fan in this building moving from their seat. There is no. not How one you? person. There is not one person moving. All right, Jens Pulver is going to make his way to the steel cage. Jeff Blatnick coming over right now. Oh, oh my goodness. My God. Okay, we just got some horrific news uh, right now. Some horrible news. Bray, I, go Baba ahead. Lou's brother died a, a month, month ago. ago. Yeah, mm, his, man. His, his brother passed away a month ago. Babalu is currently wearing his uh, brother who passed away, wearing that. his t-shirt. Great fight, buddy. Oh. Absolute insane fight, Babalu. Abso I can't reach you, dude. I'm tiny. <laughs> Beautiful. Babalu come over, gives us a high five, and you see that. You see the brother on the shirt. Unbelievable. I, I, I just what? passed away a month ago. I had no idea. I thought, I thought they I said either. tonight. I was I worried, but either. passed away a month ago. Let's see how the judges I mean, I got saw no idea this fight. Let's see how the judges did it. I, I have no idea. idea if Jeremy won this. Here we go. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. At least I got to see it, so you just hang on. In our final this there, evening, we have you know went to the judges. They're announcing the decision right now. On the Judge point. Don Bates scores it 29-28. Curtis Thrasher, 29-28. Mark Van Tine, 29-28. We have a unanimous decision. The winner, Baba Wow, it is, it is unbelievable that somebody had to lose tonight. Yeah, it, it that's was, just unreal, that's just unreal. 29-28, can't get any closer to that. Yeah, it was one you, of that those fight. Things. Ryan, that fight well, couldn't get any closer than that. It, it was unbelievable Jerry, stuff. Unbelievable. Right now, Chuck Liddell is making his way to the ring. Jens Pulver is going to make his way to the ring and talk with the winner, as well as Jeremy Horn. What a fight it's right now, Babalu. Tears, tears pouring out of Babalu's yeah. eyes, pouring out of his trainer's eyes, wow. pouring out of everybody in the Babalu camp. 
I mean, what 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 a uh, you know to go from such absolute you know losing mm. losing your brother a month ago and now you know fighting. Look at Babalu, man. I'm choked <laughs> up. Oh, man. I'm I, I choked you, up. I tell you I, what. I gotta. Oh, the man. heart he showed. I, I didn't even think he could make it to this fight. That was Jeez, first two. Dude. We were questioning. I gotta go to the back kitchen. After I'm choked the, up. The Shogun fight. Yeah. You know and. I, you know what? How about this? In there his is, first fight, is, the new his belt, folks. first fight, I was thinking to myself, I even said it out loud, hey, he looks a little tired here in the second round. He's getting the strap <laughs> put him. around his waist. Oh, mercy. Great stuff, guys. The jet, Just, we're going to have you go pocket. talk to him right now. We're going to have you jump unreal. up there. Great, this great, great stuff. Congratulations, Babalu. Congratulations, Babalu. You are a true <laughs> champion, sir. <laughs> you are a true oh, champion. Show me the mic. Let's check it to say to Babalu. Chuck Liddell's got the mic. Chuck Liddell grabbed the mic. He wanted to say something, congratulate him, giving him his old belt to the one and only Babalu. This is a great moment right here. This is unreal. <laughs> I just thank God I was a part of this. Champion, champion. Light, light heavyweight, world champion. I'll be back from a belt though. <laughs> Great, great fight. Beautiful. Folks, what a Two night tonight. Two classy sportsmen. Two classy sportsmen. An amazing performance by both Warriors tonight. A tournament. We I did like not that. know if these guys could continue yeah, through the tournament. They did. Indeed, they did. They made it through. Eight men entered. Two were in the final, and your champion tonight, very deserving. Eight men entered, one man leaves. The light heavyweight champion, IFC. The only place to be, baby. That's why the sport is so great. For Jens Bulver, Big Papa. Nice job, my friend. Brother, it was a pleasure. I'm Ryan Bennett. Thank you so much. We will catch you for the More of the World Tour right here in the IFC. Peace. Peace. Bye.